Well, folks, for my road trip today, I haven't come that far from home. I'm on a lovely rolling ridge called Stockley Hill, and it separates the Wye Valley, where I live, to the north, with the Golden Valley to the south, and behind that, the brooding mass of the Black Mountains, which today, with a bit of mist and cloud around in the valley bottom, do feel somewhat Arthurian, and that is fitting, because what I want to share with you is this. This is known locally as Arthur's Stone, and it is a fabulous example of a 5,000-year-old Neolithic chambered tomb, just one of numerous prehistoric sites that we now understand litter this ridge. Scatterings of broken axes, other burial sites, and some really fascinating discoveries in more recent years are suggesting that there were tombs, halls to the dead built along this ridge. This part of the UK is fast becoming recognised as one of the most significant prehistoric landscapes in the country. But at its heart is this, Arthur's Stone. Now in truth, the mythical King Arthur had nothing to do with the building of this, but it is said in the folklore that maybe this is where he slew a giant. Why not? Arthur gets everywhere. But in truth, this was built, as I say, 5,000 years ago by the Neolithic peoples that lived in this part of the world. We are on a ridge. This was probably a seasonal upland place in which small local tribes would have gathered. But they gathered here particularly to build this. And that's what makes it really interesting in terms of the way society was developing 5,000 years ago during the Neolithic or the New Stone Age. Because imagine what it would take to get people together to actually do this, to find the stones, to haul them up here, and then to decide that this was part and parcel of what you would all collectively believe. Because at the end of the day, when you build something like this, you are, as I've said before, creating a sense of place. Now its purpose was to create a burial chamber, and the chamber itself was formed of these upright stones, upon which was placed an enormous capstone. That, it is now thought, weighs some 25 tonnes, no mean feat. 5,000 years ago to get that on top of those. And then the whole thing would have been covered in an enormous long mound of earth. These are often called long mounds. And it would have been really visible to everyone around here, both in the valley bottoms and, of course, on the tops of the Black Mountains behind me. Now, we tend to think, perhaps, that these things were about chieftains claiming land and territory. But actually, I think the Neolithic was far more nuanced than that. I think the peoples that came together to build these structures weren't so much worried about land ownership. They were more concerned with a sense of shared spiritual belief and importantly, a sense of ancestral belonging in the landscape. I think this was all about a sense of place and the peoples who lived here 5,000 years ago, not staking a claim necessarily to the territory, but to an idea that this was home.